Our pilot project program was originally designed to allow scientists to study areas of women's health that had never before been undertaken. So our pilot project program offers the opportunity for investigators to compete for dollars so that if they are awarded a grant from us, they can undertake a new study on a particular area of women's health that's important to them and important to the health of women. It can be on an area of cancer research, it can be on depression, osteoporosis, autoimmune illness, cardiovascular disease, smoking cessation, any number of topics that are really critical to women's health. The ability to get federal grants is completely uh, based on your ability to show that what you're doing is going to work. And therefore, sources of pilot funding are extremely useful in starting a new direction or in taking on studies that might otherwise be too expensive to do with existing funding. And I think women's health research at Yale has been very good at leveraging their, their funding and their particularly their pilot grants in order to get people who weren't already working on uh, sex and gender issues to start incorporating that as an important part of the research. One of the difficulties I found in my work is that when you want to try a new method or as a junior faculty member when you want to learn a new method and then write a grant to fund some ideas, um, you know, some pilot work, it's very difficult to get, to get that research funded. In a large part because as a junior faculty member you don't have a track record of publishing with new research methods or in this area of study. So women's health research provides pilot money and seed money um, and also the mentorship for you to explore new areas and then obtain pilot data which will allow you to fund larger projects further on in your career. Women's Health Research at Yale funded a pilot uh, project in my laboratory, and it actually was a, a collaboration with Dr. Alessandro Santin, who's in the Department of Obstetrics and, and Gynecology. Alessandro is an expert in ovarian cancer and has long been trying to find new ways to treat ovarian cancer, particularly that subset of ovarian cancer that is resistant to most drugs, and, and this is a common form of ovarian cancer, unfortunately. And in my laboratory, we develop methods for delivering drugs to, uh, to tumors more effectively. And this involves embedding the drug molecules into very tiny particles called nanoparticles. And, and then decorating these nanoparticles so that they recognize tumors and avoid all other uh, cells in the body. And so the Women's uh, Health Research at Yale uh, pilot program allowed us to do the first experiments in combining our two interests to find new treatments for ovarian cancer. We're not interested in people leaving their areas of study and identifying themselves solely as women's health investigators. Rather, we'd much prefer that people stay right where they are in the discipline in which they work and then begin there to embrace women's health, to embrace gender differences in what they're already studying. And in that way, in the long term, we'll mainstream the study of women's health. Particularly now, federal dollars are scarce. And as a consequence of that, our program is reaching out for funds to help our investigators not only get the pilot funds they need, but also looking for bridge funds until they can get larger funds in order to study definitive answers to the questions that we have about women's health. <laughs>